PSA from your Uncle Chris. Does everyone here know about Right Turn on Red? Because yeah. I, I drive around Chattanooga sometimes. I don't think everyone knows about Right Turn on Red. If everyone could just like tell a friend about Right Turn on Red, it would really help my frustration. Oh, no. Do we have any uh, tequila drinkers in the audience? Anyone here? Yeah. Everyone likes tequila. I do not like tequila. And yeah. it's, it's not because I don't like the flavor of tequila. No, it's because tequila lies. Tequila tricks you. It does. For instance, if someone comes up to you and says, do you want to have some vodka? Like, that sounds scary. Vodka is an aggressive word. Vodka sounds like something that's going to fuck you up, right? Vodka sounds like a bad idea. But if someone comes up to you and says, hey, you want some tequila? Well, well, that sounds downright pleasant, doesn't it? Tequila sounds fun. Tequila sounds great. Tequila sounds like a good idea. Tequila sounds like it's not going to fuck you up. Tequila sounds like it's going to lick your balls. Right? You know, it's going to be soft, and it's going to be wet, and it's going to be pleasant, but it's not going to go anywhere. Tequila sounds like a good idea. But, you know, maybe, maybe if you have to have one drink of tequila, it's a good idea. Maybe. Maybe one drink's like having your balls like a shirt. But if you keep drinking tequila, you're going to end up handcuffed to a donkey in Tijuana. <laughs> Ask me how I know. It's happened to you too, hasn't it, sir? Yeah, it's horrible. So, so I'm actually single. I've, I've been single since the donkey broke up with me. And uh, I'm, I'm tall. You may have noticed I'm tall. I feel like being tall helps dating-wise. And I like to pick up girls at the grocery store. So I'll, I'll go to the store and I'll go to the cereal aisle. And I'll go to the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Now, I, I don't go to like the organic granola because I'm not trying to get those 20-year-old like hippie chicks. I want a 40-year-old divorcee that does some emotional eating. So I go to the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and I just, I just take all the boxes and I move them to the top shelf. And I, I just wait. I wait. And, and, and some lady will come by and she'll be like, excuse me, sir. Could, could I have some Cinnamon Toast Crunch? And I was like, sure. Shabba, shabba, shabba. Here's your Cinnamon Toast Crunch. My name's Chris. So yes, that doesn't work. I am still single, and now I'm also banned from Publix. <laughs> uh, isn't it great that we're all out here tonight, though? All you guys supporting live comedy, thank you for that. It's great that we're, we're through this COVID thing, or mostly. I feel very thankful that we have this vaccine. I don't really get the people that don't want to get the vaccine. Like, I try to get it as often as possible. I've got four Pfizer's, three Moderna, and a J and J. Like, I just want to be super immune so I can go in the X-Men. Like, they gave me a punch card and on my 10th shot, I'm gonna get a free Wendy's Frosty, so I'm really excited. <laughs> and then you hear some people, they'll tell you like, no man, you can't get the vaccine, they're gonna put a microchip in you. And when I hear that, I just think, well, I, I kind of feel ripped off. Like, I've gotten 17 goddamn shots and I haven't gotten a single microchip. Where is my microchip? Like, I want to be able to hack an ATM, right? I want to be able to, like, be a cyborg. I want to be able to, like, steal the nudes off all your phones, especially yours. You come see me later. Uh, but, you know, what, what can you do? So, um, I actually, I actually got, uh, I got cat called on the way over here tonight. Um, and I did, I got cat called and, and let, let me tell you what, it was amazing. It was amazing. Like, it felt so good. Like, I, I understand, ladies, I understand. You don't like it when we do it. You don't like it when we cat call you, but maybe we're just treating you like we want to be treated, because us men, we love that. Like, objectify us, please. So, so I'm, I'm crossing Market Street over here, and this lady stops, and she leans out her window. She's looking at me, and she goes, hey, you, get out of the road. And I think, Whoa, man, she likes me. Wow. <laughs> so I, I go over and I, I gave her some cinnamon toast crunch, and, and we have a date on Saturday now. Chris Music, thank you very much.
it comes to us all the way from New York City. Let's hear it for Elliot Thompson, everybody. What's going on? Um, I, I, uh, I got to talk about this. I, I, uh, I tore my ACL during COVID, tore my ACL, and uh, it hurt.